Third generation Epic uh, general purpose processor competes directly uh, with uh, Xeon and, and Graviton. Um, believe it or not, AMD used to be in the CPU market. Uh, when I was actually at uh, AMD, uh, AMD had 26% of the entire server market. Uh, they're at 10% now with Epic, but they had left the market for six or seven uh, uh, years. Market's different, right? AMD started this year with cloud, and then they moved to, uh, this was really to me the enterprise, uh, the, the enterprise data center launch, which brought all the software with it and all of the partners that, that, that you would expect. The big change here is uh, moving to a new core architecture um, uh, with uh, Zen 3. And, and literally, that's how they were able to drive um, a 20% uh, performance uh, improvement. Now, obviously, where they, they beefed up uh, some other elements versus uh, Intel's current in market, you know, you're looking at 50% uh, adders uh, and also where AMD might have a core count uh, increase. Uh, and it's all about timing here because uh, uh, AMD compared against what's in market, not what Intel is going to be announcing uh, in the next couple of weeks with uh, with 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 Ice Lake. But super impressed uh, with the what they were able uh, uh, to do here. The other change that they made was um, uh, uh, memory architecture differences, which allowed uh, each core to address uh, more more memory. Uh, out there, and and what that does is that uh, decreases latency, and and makes it a much better, let's say, a database uh, a database processor. Heck, uh, Lenovo came out and said, uh, with Epic, uh, we have um, increased. Uh, sorry, we have scored a hundred benchmarking world records. Okay, which I just thought was just crazy and ludicrous. Yes, there are more than a hundred server uh, benchmarks uh, out there. And whether it's, you know, floating point, database, there's even one for VMware. Uh, there's one for straight, I, you know, spec uh, for, you know, more uh, contiguous with IPC. There's floating point, Java virtual machine, which is what uh, most uh, enterprise applications uh, are, are based off of. So, you know, Daniel, we're gonna have to see the, uh, we're gonna have to see the details here. Yeah. Uh, OEMs are ramping up, cloud vendors are ramping up uh, uh, with Epic. Um, you know, I believe that I don't believe TSMC can give AMD as much as they need uh, out there. And you've got new Intel stuff going in there. An Intel who still has ninety percent market share, even with multiple generations of world record performance from Epic. Which, uh, when we get into the Intel conversation, we'll talk about maybe maybe why that is. Hey, hey listen, um, you can see the disappointment on my face. <laughs> I'm disappointed because you're talking about uh, these benchmark records. And by the way, cool stuff, if that's your thing, if you're one of these geek bench people that want to look at this. I'm sure there's a few CIOs that care about this. I'm pretty sure that entire, that entire business of these benchmarks and records, though, is for everyone in the industry to pat each other's back about their own situations and lives. It's like the, every kid gets a ribbon thing now. It's like, we're gonna come up with 900 benchmarks. By the way, some analyst firms do this too. It's, it's actually kind of embarrassing sometimes. You know, they have an award for everything. It's like, are you really giving an award or are you just trying to give somebody some social recognition? Anyways, I digress. I can't help myself, Pat. Look, long and short on the whole AMD Epic third gen thing, enterprise is gonna be a big lift for them to compete. Even with the improved performances, um, they are, uh, AMD is about to go up against Ice Lake, uh, next generation, which is going to be uh, likely very competitive as opposed to what they're comparing now. The other thing is, you know, and I've done a lot of, of, of analysis on this in the past, Pat, is getting the workloads in enterprise moved from these companies yeah. that have big Intel commits is not an easy thing. It has not been an easy thing. And Intel has been heavily invested in making sure and that, by the way, has a lot to do why that 90 plus percent market share still exists. However, Lisa is doing a great job. Uh, every generation continues to press uh, and push and put more pressure on Intel. And I expect the battle will rage on. And by the way, that makes it fun because when we're talking about chips and SaaS kicking, eh, that's, uh, that, that, you know, that is uh, the topic we want to talk about. So it's healthy, healthy debate. Um, bring it. 